Well, I'm Ken Kassman. I'm a professor at the University of Nebraska. Uh, I'm also chair of the Independent Science and Partnership Council, the CGIR. But I'm here at Africa Rice today um, because we're holding a workshop on the GIGA project. GIGA stands for Global Yield Gap Atlas. And it's a research project that I've been involved with over the past three years, four years. Um, we're hosted here at Africa Rice because uh, our aspiration is to estimate the yield gap, which is the gap between potential yields and current average farm yields uh, on every hectare of land worldwide. And we're starting some of our major effort in Africa. And of course we need local partners. We need partners that have the expertise, particularly in the agronomy and the genetics, and our national partners who have the local expertise to make sure that when we estimate yield gaps, it's, it's relevant because it's so easy to do back of the napkin estimates of yield gap, but they're not useful to, to policy makers. They're not useful locally even to farmers to try to understand what is the possible ceiling yield that I could achieve with good management. Unfortunately, to do that well takes a lot of detailed information on cropping system, when the crops are planted, when they're harvested, what they're rotated with, information about plant density, cultivar maturity, um, and very good weather data and soil data. And the only way we can get that is with collaboration with partners. So we're here at a workshop working on a global methodology applied locally in every country with partnerships. And we're just so pleased that Africa Rice is leading the effort in Africa uh, to look at yield gap assessment for rice. Now we're interested in other crops as well. Um, but we're hosted here uh, for our workshop at Africa Rice. Now, more broadly, we learned here that in the last several years that rice yields have essentially entered a new era. And it's, quite frankly, because I've worked on rice most of my career, it's very exciting because for so many years, rice yields in Africa, particularly West Africa, had, had been hardly moving. And it seems that there's been a catalytic change since about 2005 or 2006. And one is, is, uh, is motivated to think that perhaps that change had something to do with national governments recognizing the vulnerability of their food supply when we went through that uh, crisis in the 2006 or so, when there were short grain supplies worldwide, and some countries actually that were exporters of rice closed their uh, exports. I think it stimulated a number of countries that import to say, hey, rather than import, let's reinvest in trying to develop our own capacity to produce. And so I think one of the, because I last time was in this part of Africa in 2008, and I'm just very encouraged to find that now we seem to be on a new trajectory with regard to rice yields. And I wish every success to continuing this trend. And I'm sure that Africa rice will be a big part of that. So, thank you.